Right guys, so it's episode 4, Road to 505. Luke is back this week, I missed him last week, so we have got some big spicy deadlifts today. I am up to about 310 for 3 sets of 2, so hopefully that goes uh, according to plan and everything goes good for myself. So, what do you have? I'm just going to copy Tom everything he does, so then hopefully I can get 505 too. Simon says, deadlift. Let's deadlift. Deadlift. <laughs> Someone asked why you put a bumper first. I don't really know to be honest. Sometimes I use bumpers, sometimes I use metal plate. I think bumpers are easier to get on and off at the start and maybe, I don't know. At most videos we do, we have a bumper on first. I think it's just to make it, I don't know. I think it gets, well, it, it gets you used to, so say if you're going for, like Tom's planning, 505. So there'll be a bigger surface, surface area on the floor if that makes sense so using the bumper that creates a bigger surface area so you're lifting effectively the same depth of plates if that makes sense so again that's that's kind of my thinking behind it not that i'll probably get up to 505 <laughs> but if you can think about it so you've got the the bumper so that's probably the equivalent of almost three plates so 325 so effectively that's 75 kilos and then we can fill up so there's more surface area, which is a different type of pool. If there's less um, surface area on it, it's a different type of pool from like loads of weights on it, if that makes sense. Is it easier to pull with the bumpers or is it? Um, I find it, personally, I find it easier when the weights spread out more. So if the weights closer in, this was 300 kilos as opposed to this, I find the, the bigger surface area is easier to pull. Um, for me personally. Let me know what you guys think below. <laughs> so today we're going to show Tom how to put a deadlift suit on. Put that now, go on. Sing it out. Go up now. Go up now. Go up Stand up. This is f***ing tight. Right, but just just do your tiptoes and push it down one. Yeah. yeah, and then, right? Three, two. I can't look like a wrecking ball. ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you put a sit on. <laughs> well, I hit right sides tighter than the other side there. Jeez. Oh. Please, the picture you see on Instagram, million likes, and for that wrecking ball, million views, because my uh, balls are gone. <laughs> oh no. Oh Jesus, that's hell, sorry. Oh. My boat down. My ass is very oh. <laughs> That is badly. Go to the toilet if you need to do it. I told you to the toilet, I should be Like, I go to the toilet, right? Everyone gets on at me about jobbies and how many I do in a day. I'd rather do that than leave the smell he just smelled, man. See if, like, someone walked in there. Like, this ain't a posh gym, because, geez, oh, they'd be bolting out the door, man. That is absolute rough. Describe the smell. It's like... That... What's that salmon fish stuff we got? Oh yeah. What's it called? The Swedish the fish, the the but a hundred times worse than that. Bomb boggling that is. <laughs> as soon as I fart, I go straight to the toilet. It's mental. I like the bass and the ambiance. Oh. Wow. Is that you farted? Alright. <laughs> that would have been funny. Oh, that's still stinky and lingering around there.
Which one of the shop? One small one's big, so there's two big ones, you know. I'll get the shot. I'll try and see if I can find it. So yeah, we are up to three ten kilograms. Meant to do three doubles, so I'm gonna build up for this one to this week because my lower back's feeling a bit buggered, but we'll see uh, see what happens. Hopefully I can hit it and it's all good, so I'll soon find out. Stay tuned to see if I hit it or if it's all. When was the last time you got up to this weight? Probably just before the shot, the short classic. I don't ever doing. I think 340 for a double, I think it was. Yeah, it's not for a couple of months now. So yeah, see how it goes. You know, this is, it's not heavy in the big scheme of things, but it just shows progression every week. So um, I think that's what Tom and I need now, kind of getting back into that training full swing. So yeah, as long as we're progressing, so um, to see what happens. Stay tuned to see what happens. After pulling the two stand, I wasn't confident, but the belt's on. My god, it is tight like a mofo. I'm not used to that anymore, but yeah, up the first hits down and dusted. Two more to go, hopefully just as easy soon. It's not letting me. Okay. I just feel that I'm too far forward. I'm not sitting back in the second half of the pool. So I just need to keep going through that kind of, you know, the calls, like your calls that you look for. So as soon as I'm up here, rather than going like that, I'm needing to get my hips through quicker. Just feels a little bit restricted, but hopefully we'll get it. Three times for three doubles is the most work done in the deadlift since probably after Hoops World. So it's progressing each week. Like I said, 270 when I pulled that, I thought, no, no way in hell I'm going to get over 300. But with the belt, you know, it's all good. But I'm getting used to the deadlift. So the first rep you always see for me is the hardest. But then when I pull that first one, on the second one, I always keep myself braced. So as soon as I hit the ground, and I go straight back up. I don't let it slam back on the ground. Everything's braced, keeps up brace and keep the breath in and I go again. So it's almost a bounce or is it just No bounce, no, it's just it's just nice and controlling the way down so then I'm still in the same position as I started with the second rep. As soon as it hits, bang. So everything's going good. I mean three ten for three doubles. Who knows what that has for me next week, but I'm going my way to New York now to the site of SPD. Then I'm gonna be at Scotland Straws Man Saturday so you know, I may ask Stan for a deload next week, you know, and get some fast speed pulls in and then go back to the heavy stuff. But yeah, I'm enjoying deadlifts right now and they're going up, that's the main thing right now. So hopefully by Christmas it's 360, 370. So. And how is it just jumping in the same way as Tom being away? Yeah, I mean, heavier than it obviously should be. But I think, like Thomas says, you know, he's out to New York, so his train's going to be a bit interrupted. I was down in London last week. It's extremely busy at the moment with us, so it's just. Mm -hmm. Stop making that excuse and you know just hit the training every time we're away. So I think that's what we have to concentrate on now. Just getting into that solid routine. Three ten for three doubles. It's not bad. It's not a bad place to be. So just keep pushing on from that 
and as Tom says, you know, hopefully the, the deadlifts by Christmas will be a lot better than they've ever been. That's the plan for this year. The gym allows you to have routine and accountability as well. So if you're following a program, if you're setting goals for yourself, you have to be accountable for those goals. And I think the gym is the perfect place for that. Um, so my goal is to, to be world's strongest man, of course, that's always my goal. So in order to be that, I need to get back into my routine. I need to get back into that way of thinking as a champion as opposed to just some guy that isn't training for anything at the moment because Tom and I are always training to be the best in the world so I think that's what I would advise people to do is just set those goals, use it to be accountable uh, and use it to get back into a routine. Thank God for that. <laughs> Shut it down, list. Now we're on to accessory. Box jump first though. Episode 4 of Tom's 505 quest finished. That was a good one. Very good. Yes, uh, deadlifts went good for both Thursday. So, deficits as well, and then some nice burning 
uh, accessories for the back and ham is all mm. fun burning now. So that hamstring one was good, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, was good. So just making sure we had that tension on really tight. That was nice. Uh, so that was it. That was good. Where are you off to tomorrow? You mentioned it, New York to do stuff with SPD. So yeah, look out for Instagram and stuff, behind the scenes stuff, and all over there. So that's going to be amazing. I cannot wait. Who's coming with you? Should I? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Thanks, SPD. Thanks, anyway. SPD. So. And we'll, oh, sorry, quick one as well, we're also going to be at the Scotland Strongest Man Championship on Saturday, so we'll see you guys here if you're coming. Um, as always, what do they do, Tom? Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And please don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling.